What's going on YouTube? Kitchen 93 here with a video tutorial on the Demon's Devil Sonic. I already did a tutorial on the Demon Sonic way back when, which is this trick. And I also did a tutorial more recently on the Devil Sonic, which is that. And as you guys might imagine, the Demon's Devil Sonic is a combination of the two. Now, how are you combining these two things? Well, we are taking the Sonic from the Demon Sonic, the initial like Sonic interrupted by the passive verse type thing. And we are combining that with the shadow of the Devil's Sonic, which would be that last part after the Twisted Sonic interrupted by the shadow part. So this trick is obviously going to have to be done palm down because it involves a top spin, that being the shadow. And this is what the Demon's Devil's Sonic looks like. Sorry, not that. So the... Demon's Devil Sonic, like I just said, is a hybrid trick. Well, I didn't actually say that, but you can imagine it's a hybrid trick between the two tricks I mentioned earlier. So we are going to take the Sonic from the Demon Sonic, and we're going to start with most of the weight of the pen towards you, or facing, I guess, in the direction that your palm is facing. You're going to put your hand palm down, and then you're going to do a Sonic. But instead of catching it like you would normal Sonic, you're going to use the momentum of the Sonic to transfer that into a shadow. Now, you can kind of see where this is going if I guide it with my other hand. You say the, the Sonic's like this, and then essentially what you're going to do is going to go like that. And then it's going to convert into the shadow or get interrupted and then go into the shadow, whatever you want to do. But it looks like that, if I could do this correctly. So it looks more or less like that. And this linkage is... It might be a little bit more difficult for some people who have flexibility problems with their ring finger, although most people can do the shocker symbol. My apologies. But um, a lot of people can bend their ring fingers down pretty easily, and so that they could hold from the Sonic 3 4 to 2 to, I guess, 2 4, and they could probably just use a momentum to kind of like, I don't know, swing the pen around into the shadow ish. Um, if you guys want to use that as a practice exercise, go right ahead. Instead of doing the Sonic right away into the um, into the interrupted shadow part of the Demon's Devil Sonic, you want to, you can maybe just put, put your ring finger down, hold the pen between um, your middle and your pinky finger like this, and then kind of use the, the swing it over into a shadow like that. And once you get that done, that will actually prepare you probably far more than what you actually need for the, you know, the actual Demon's Devil Sonic, because you have the momentum from the Sonic when you are doing the real trick, but when you're doing just like this, you have to generate all your momentum from like a swinging motion, which is a little bit more difficult. So if you guys can master this whole um, this whole two four t shadow to like that wasn't it, like shadow two four to one two like that, then you should be just fine for doing the Demon's Devils um, Sonic, which is that. So I really don't think there's much to this trick. Again, you guys should know the Sonic pretty darn well by now. Just make sure you do it palm down. Make sure you do it with most of the weight towards um, your body closest so that when you do the Sonic or and you like interrupt it halfway through, you have this length of the pen like facing this way so that I can go ahead and do the shadow. Because if you don't and you do it like this, then you obviously see the problem that um, there's no room for the shadow to like take place. Like it'll, the pen will want to spin like this and then it'll just like fall off your hand because it's not balanced. And obviously you don't want that. So just make sure you have most of the weight of the pen like this towards you when you're doing the sonic portion or even when you just start on general and then kind of like st practice stopping the sonic like right here this is where the inter whole interrupted concept comes into play you just do the initial half of the sonic and then kind of just like hold it there and then you can also just try to do um practice just doing a shadow from there like stop here and then practice doing a shadow from there into one two and um, I guess you could do this into other finger slots as well. I just don't know about it. That was probably some different trick, but I'm just teaching you the traditional way of doing it. Of course, top spins, especially with the shadow, can go in any finger direction or any finger slot. So you might have to be careful with the notation there. I just don't want to confuse you guys with the different like ending spots. And so I'm just going to do it the way I was taught, or at least the way I learned it, which was from 3-4. The whole trick goes from 3-4 to 1-2. Wow, sorry about that. I'm terrible tonight. But that's pretty much how you do the Demon's Devil Sonic. A lot of you guys requested the Demons and the Devil's tricks. Um, Devil's 
Shadow, I guess, probably will come next. It's not too hard of a trick to learn either. But um, again, just do the Sonic. We'll start off with most of the weight towards you, and then interrupt yourself, and then try to generate momentum to do the um, the Shadow part. Now, of course, over time, you don't want to stop here and then swing around. You might add an extra rotation or two to your combo, which might not look nice. It might work. I don't know. But uh, if you want to do the trick fluidly, then just use the momentum from the Sonic and then transfer that over so that this first of all you want the circular motion and the momentum and then just have it go right into the shadow just like that so again the demon's devil sonic looks like that hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hope it helped feel free to rate comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video tutorial